Hello my friends. Today what we are going to do is to make this add to card feature. So if we click this one, so you can see we just added this product inside our card. If we come in here, we can see this Canada travel product in here because we just click this add to card button. So to make this add to card feature, we have a three steps to make. So when doing this one, there is some things that we need to keep in mind. So if we come to our database in here, so in here, there is a user information, uh, this user's information. So we have only one card in here. That's why you see only one card in here. So we put this card information inside the user collection because this card actually belongs to this user. So if we click one more add to card in here, and then we just refresh our database in here, and we spread this card. Now we have two card information inside this card field because we have uh, two items, two items in here. So. Uh, when we see this Redux store in here, we actually put this cart information in here. There's the Redux. Uh, inside the Redux, there is no other information like products or any other information. But we just kept just managing our user information inside the Redux. So that's why uh, we will just uh, send HTTP request with Redux. Honestly, you don't need to use the Redux in here, but for just education purpose, we are going to use the Redux for managing our user state. As you see in here, for the user state, state we put this inside the Redux. So we are going to use the Redux uh, when we send HTTP request. Uh, for the second step, we will uh, make a add to cart API inside the user controller. And there is a, one thing we need to be careful is uh, if we come back to our application. So now you can see only one product and then we come to our any other product like for the Mexico. So inside the Mexico, if I click the add to cart, the number of the product we have inside the cart the become from two to three. So if we come in here, we have a three products in here, but if we click this add to cart for this Mexico travel product, it's still three. But the only thing different is for the product quantity for the Mexico product, this becomes two. So if I click this one more again, add to cart, and they come back to our cart, the one more thing that has changed is the, this quantity number. But if we just uh, click any other product, Singapore, and then click this the add to car, it becomes the four, right? Instead of the increase this quantity. But so what we need to keep in mind is inside the card, the product I will add to car already exists. We will do increment quantity for the product. So we will increase this quantity by one. And if not, the quantity will be one. This quantity will be one. We need to put these three things, date and quantity, and this one uh, inside the user collection. The, that's what we need to do for this section. So first we go back to our text editor in here, and we need to turn on our application by typing npm run dev. So now we are inside our application and come back to our text editor and then inside the product info page. So you can see this on click. So we will just keep this one name as so add to handler and just make that function in here. const add to car handler like this. So if I click this uh, button. I just want to just send this product's ID into our parent component, the which is the detail product page. So props uh, add 
to cart so we don't have these props inside in here we put this one in here uh, first in here I need to keep making the props uh, detail and ID because this detail is come from this one and we also need to make a function in here or uh, add to cart and dealer again so make this function in here oh, we got the product id from here props detail id so we need to do the http request but we said we will use the redux together with this http request so we need to import a to cart from the read action and user action but we don't have this add to cart uh, inside this user action so we come to user action part so we do export function add to cart and then we just uh, put everything inside in here first or we will just to put the id and then here at to cart product id and id this one put in here and then type name will be add to cart user or we need to put this one in here and ready to go to the types in here export const add to cart user and we also need to go to user register we need to put the types in here and then case return state and i'm going to keep typing later so we just uh, use this add to cart in here but we need the dispatch use dispatch from react and redux so const dispatch use dispatch and here so maybe you don't know what we are doing right now if you have never experienced the redux but i hope you can just follow this one even though you couldn't know and you feel really bad about this in this project i am going to keep using the redux so you will know later what we are doing so i keep doing it so go to add to car in here so i need to make this api inside the user controller so go to user routes uh right uh, at the bottom i need to type the louder and then it was the post request you can see here uh, just post request and then the pass will be the your add to car and then we will put the us middleware so request and risk like this so first we will find user information with the id user id id request or user id this id come from the this us middleware so we come in here if we go to this us there's a user information we put after this request so that's why we can get this a uh, user id with this request user like that so after finding the a specific user with the ID uh, inside the user collection. Uh, we are going to pass in the callback user info, user info, and cart. This is uh, inside the user information. There is a cart, so I get this cart 
inside the user information for each if the cart and uh, this one name will be cart info cart info dot id cart info dot id this one is equal to request dot query dot product id so in here we put the product id information in here so it comes from uh, this one product id like this and it also come from the product info in here when we click this the uh, add to cart um this add to cart we will send this products information from here to detail product page and from here to user action and from here to the user controller this api so we know request to query product id so request query product id is equivalent to the cart info id but that means we first define the duplicate is the force but if this one is the equal that means this one is the uh, duplicate is true that means uh, this cart just this product is already inside the cart so we said uh, inside the cart the product are we add to cart already exists uh, in this case we will just increment the quantity for the product by one if this pro you if this one is the duplicate so if the duplicate is true user the find one and update so the id request user that id and cart that id this one will be request query that product id and this one we need to increase number one so we will do increase number one cart and quantity and one so we will just increase this quantity from one to three from two to three so by using this syntax provided by the mongoose and the new will be true uh, the reason why we do the new is true is we will reflect this result right away uh, inside the database so if this cart quantity was the one in here after doing this new true cart quantity will be two so after doing this one so if error I return response and json success force and error and response and status if, if it was successful json and this user info and cart and we also need to do else uh, if not we will just make this quantity will be one so user find the one and update and we will define this user by the id request the user and id and we need to push this cart information cart like this id request or uh, query and product id uh, we need some problem so maybe it's a little bit complicated why not like this and then we also need to put the quantity here as we did in your quality will be one and uh, we also need to put the date now we also do it in here too new true and then we, put, we will pass in the core back in here and user info 
if error return erase and json and success and force and error and risk and status 200 in json and user info and cart this information is this one this one cart information this one id quantity and date we just uh, put that one inside the cart now we made all the api for this add to cart it was really not easy so we come back to our uh, user action so after getting all of the response data and then we put this response data inside the reducer user reducer user reducer is the user register in here you put that information in here so we first spread all the previous state in here so after that you see our redux in here so now we cannot see this the cart information inside the uh, user state so we need to put that cart information inside the user the state in here inside the redux store uh, state and then user data and we do the state and then user data that's the up to this part this one is up to this part user and user data we we spread all the user data in here right now but we also need to just uh, push this cart data in here that one come from the action and payload this one comes from the user action in here response data or come to this payload request so we can just get this one inside the register as a action payload action payload so now i'm going to save it and now i go to the detailed product page in here save it this one and then if i just uh, come back to our application so now i'm going to see my redux state in here i cannot see the cart in here but i will try to just click this add to cart so i clicked it and if i see this one uh, i just paused the video because the, i got some problems so the problem was so, um, so back in here so if we see this part so user input and then the card so this means uh, inside our user model in here we actually need to have the field for the card but actually we don't have any card field this one this field we actually need but we don't have the card field inside the user model that's why i faced some problem when just clicking this one so we come back to our user model we need to make the cart field this one's type will be the array and the default will be just a empty array this one after that i want to just make one more the field and name it the history for the later purpose and this one's type uh, is the same as this card and this one is array and then default Oh, it's an empty array like this again so i just save it and then go back to our application here so if we see the our redux store in here we don't have the map in here but if i click the add to cart click it and then if we see the redux again also uh, you can see this cart so now we can see this card is inside the user state. So if I click this one one more uh, inside a different uh, product, so I'm going to click this add to car. And then if I see this state for the user, so now we have two cards inside this card field. This one is for this product. 
So thank you for watching this video. Actually, it was really complicated, but you did really well. Thank you for watching this video, and then see you in our next section. Thank you.